So me and my friends have been on various trips over the past few years. We've been to Alton Towers, we've been to Reading, and we even let Snapchat AI control our lives for a whole day where we went to Worcester. So the obvious next step is to go somewhere further away, somewhere bigger. So we have been, it's been our sort of dream over the last few months to head to London. But going on a day trip to London is notoriously expensive with even train tickets hitting prices of over 100 quid and you get dinner could be 20 25 pounds and then there's the attractions london eye costs 40 pounds so we decided to set ourselves a budget of 50 pounds each that would include trains food entertainment and drinks and souvenirs i always like to get a cheeky little fridge magnet so let me show you what we did and if we came in on under 50 pounds. So our first expense is £4.50 for the tickets from Bromsgrove to New Street. Here we are. Um, I'm. There's a table, and then I'm here on my own. Been uh, removed from the table. So Molly was able to get an amazing deal on uh, our train tickets. Thirty-two pounds was it? Thirty-two pounds for all five of us, and that includes uh, the train from Moor Street to London and back, and all the tube and bus travel in London. Um, for thirty-two pounds for all of us, which is six pounds and seventy-eight pence off our total, so that, that is pretty, pretty good. But it's in pretty good standings for our fifty quid budget. We've made it into London, Marylebone, and we're just going to stop off a quick Greg. There we go. Stopping off at Greg's just for a quick, quick bite to eat. It's ten forty-five, and um, then we'll be off into London. Cheeky Greg's little sausage roll to tie us over till lunch. By the way, you have to stand on the right. Yes. <laughs> Go into where are we going on the underground, Marley? Oxford Street. Oxford. Ox. What is it? Oxford Circus. Oxford Circus. Which is where Oxford Street and Regent Street meet. Perfect. Down the Bakerloo line. Oh, it's the squiggly thing for when you're drunk. <laughs> Why are you annoyed? They don't do a normal pack of M&M's. It's disgraceful, isn't it? They're they called them M&M's M &M shots, but there's not, not just a pack of M&M's, is there? Here we go. Him, do you not remember him? Oh, well, he's kind of a big deal. Yeah, he has a whole column. About 30 metres? I guess, 50. Google it. So we've been to a lot of the main tourist places to look at. Been to Trafalgar Square, Big Ben. We haven't gone up the London Eye, we went to look at it. £40 to go up there, which is not in our budget, but we're now off to see Buckingham Palace. Yeah. 
not home today. He doesn't live there anyway. So we're taking the tube to Tower Bridge where we've got our first thing that's booked today. So a little earlier on I actually grabbed some fridge magnets. Uh, if you've been I've seen any other videos from this channel, I love fridge magnets and everywhere I go I'll get fridge magnets. So I saw a little stall sort of on the side of the road and it looked a little bit dodgy so I did pay with cash just in case. Um, and we got a little one with a bear on, a little one like this and a metal one with all of the attractions of London. We have actually been and seen most of these, Big Ben, uh, Westminster Abbey, Tower Bridge, we're just on the way now. Um, so yeah, um, I thought I might as well spend a little bit of my budget on something we're going to remember. You know, it's going to sit on my whiteboard with the rest of them. Yeah. Uh, I I to do a historic environment topic for Elizabeth. We're going for a quick stop at Tesco to get some lunch and then we're gonna go up Tower Bridge. Just grabbed a quick Tesco meal deal. And Will let me use his club card, didn't you Will? So I uh, got it for £3.40, brilliant. Right then guys, up we go. Get a lovely view of the Shard from here. Was once the tallest building in Europe at 310 meters. Why didn't we take the lift, guys? I don't know, Ben. It was your decision, Ben. Yes, Ben. I'm already worn out. The man looked at me inquisitively as well, didn't he? Do you notice from the outside it looks stone and old, but the inside is just Victorian iron? Um, not really. Why? Because it is built in the Victorian times to look like an old castle. Oh. Uh, still looks old. So to go up Tower Bridge, it wasn't actually that expensive, it was £6.20 per person. We had to book a couple of weeks ago, but yeah, we were straight through the queue as well. We didn't have to go in the people that wanted to pay now. And yeah, only £6.20, which for London is it too bad. Oh, we're walking across. There's even little windows to stick your camera out of. But except it's still... No, don't mind. it's this side. Oh, is that a hole? Yeah. Oh, you can feel the wind of London. That's where Alan Sugar is. Except he's not there, he's a studio. It's a warehouse actually. I'm going to try out the glass bridge for us first. Look how far down it goes. Go on then, Will. Can we all jump at the same time? Yeah. Three, three two, one. <laughs> Into the lift this time. Made that mistake already. Right, we have to follow this blue line to the engine room. Think the bridge is moving? Well, they're just doing it for fun. So, as an engineering student, Kate, can you explain to us what's going on here? Um, well, as an engineering student, I've failed my last year. Ooh. 
This is the accumulator. Get to have a go, look. This is brilliant. Oh, you ran out. Oh, boiler's not hot enough. Oil's run out. Oh god, I'm terrible at this job. And then we open the bridge. Easy job, this. Oh, is it gonna, is it gonna, yes, we did it. And there's a big tower of London. Lovely summer's day, so I thought might as well treat myself to a Mr. Whippy. Um, half a bank loan to take it out. £3.50 uh, for a single Mr. Whippy, but hmm, really good. You go, see. I'll have one further down on my own. So we're now heading to the Science Museum, which is free entry. We had to book our tickets in advance, but it's still free. Uh, we don't know if we're going to spend a lot of time here. We might have a little quick look around. It says take, we'll take two hours to go around. But I don't think we'll spend the whole time there, will we, Will? Yeah, that's a long time. Yeah, I think we need some more food. Uh, we've been doing a lot of walking today. Oh, well, that's about a pizza place. So okay, know. maybe some pizza for dinner. Into the Science Museum. This isn't the Titanic. This is the Aaron Horn of Star. Is it? That's what it says. Biology exhibition. Heading back down south to South Kensington Underground, and then we're going to head to a pizza place called Pizza Union. Now, I've seen this quite a few times on TikTok, and the reviews look really good. It's pretty cheap, uh, but the pizzas seem pretty good. But that's just a few stops on the Piccadilly line, uh, but you know, it'll only be about 15 minutes to get there. gone for San Pellegrino and a pizza called the Regina which has parmesan and mozzarella. So Marley's gone for a margarita which she's eating with a knife and fork. Psycho. Dan's gone for a margarita which she's eating the normal way and Will's gone for Hawaiian. What do you all think? It's quite thin crust but it's, it's really good. Quick diet coke from McDonald's. Kate's just choosing a keyring and then we'll be on our way back home. For our train, we're just having a little mooch around a fruit shop. Maybe there was something we can take back on the train with us. So there we have it, by choosing a better option on the trains, getting a good deal for the five of us, and then being able to uh, get cheaper food throughout the day. And then we were able to go to a cheaper attraction, which is Tower Bridge. 
I really enjoyed that. That's a bit different to the usual London Eye, and I think it was a lot better. So we were able to come in at £43.22 for the whole day, which leaves us with £6.78 to spare. With the price of those train tickets, we could go back again. Maybe we can do some other videos just like this one in the future, going to other places. We are thinking of maybe doing a two-day trip. We'll have a look. So if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again very soon.